First thing about tests and quizzes that we're going to do in class, uh, lots of students um, kind of complain that that one window opening and do programming in it is, is difficult. They need a better editor to be able to edit the code when they're actually writing code for the test. So um, uh, what I wanted to tell you, so this is what we're going to do. So you have the My Apps and your My Seneca at, uh, on, the, uh, uh, on any computer that we have at Seneca. So what you do when you want to start your, your test, and, um, and I'm going to explain how you're going to do your quiz and the final test and stuff. Um, as we mentioned, let me, that I, I need to pause. There is no need. how it's done. So you open My Apps first. You log into My Apps. And in here, type Notepad. And launch it. So the very first thing that you do, you're going to run Notepad++. Notepad++ um, has all the um, good features of uh, um, syntax highlighting and things like that. So that we launched. So oh, let's take it out. That we have launched. And as you see, it comes with the last thing I did. It's, it's, in your case, it's going to come up like this. Okay. So the very first thing you do, immediately you save this. So file save as. Okay. Immediately you save it as something. Call it over here. Um, anywhere on desktop, anywhere you want. I'm just going to call it uh, myprg.cpp. So as soon as you do this, the syntax highlighting become active. So you can actually write your programs in here. So you can write over here class, I don't know, base, and then int and data. And everything is going to be done perfectly as you can very easily write your code. And it has all the syntax highlighting and help as, as you want it. Uh, so you, you have this one open and ready. And then you're going to um, go to the, uh, go to the test. And you do the process exactly like the other one, but you don't need to develop it in the test uh, anymore. You can actually write it on a separate, separate one. So I think it was 2027. I, I wipe it out from other places, so I'm just going to use another subject over here in midterm. Yeah, so that's the mock-up test we had. So now when you're actually uh, doing your test, you're going to start your test. You put this one at left, and the other one's going to be at right. That is this one. Okay. Um, for some reason, it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. So we go like this. You prepare it and get ready to go. Uh, you start your test. And when you are doing your test, you have the question at left, and you can actually develop whatever you want at right. So the quest, you, you will do whatever you need to do, public, uh, whatever. Uh, let me just copy something from somewhere that we're going to teach today. So, so let's say I. I write the answer, what I want. I develop the answer over here. And then after you do all these things, you go through the process, and you will actually uh, go through process of submitting using the thing that you have. So you, then you copy from here. And you paste it over here, and then you submit it. So it's got to be nice and clean. Uh, if I get anything like this with spaces in middle, I'm not going to mark it anymore. So if the code that I receive have multiple spaces between lines, that essentially means you copied it from somewhere else. As you see, this is a copy that is coming from a web page. It automatically adds new lines everywhere, several of them. And there are lots of. Um, characters that you don't see, and that makes it ugly. Um, so when you're submitting, your code should be submitted like this. OK? No other thing is acceptable, because now you have a browser. You have a text editor that you can write your code in it perfectly. The spelling doesn't need to be right. Um, code doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it matches what, you, um, what I ask, you're perfectly OK. But uh, uh, the answer should be nicely presented over here. So make sure 
when you are actually uh, putting it in its C++, if you put it on something like this, again, not acceptable. Make sure that you actually put over here C or C++ or whatever so it, it does a proper syntax highlighting. And again, if it's like this, I don't accept it. It has to be nicely formatted. So, and that's how you're gonna, go, how you're gonna do your test. And uh, that's it. So now you have a, so these are the only two things that you're allowed to have on your computer open. Notepad and that one, and I'm gonna set that one on the, on my podium so if anything is open, anything else is open, I can actually notice it. Like that, you can actually write your uh, uh, tests in a more peaceful way. For the quiz, so that's that.